How's it going everyone? DCFan99 here. I just wanted to come on really quick right before the game. As you can see, got sort of a 90s outfit going on. I wore my Starbuck shirt the entire year, but I got my DAC jersey on because today is DAC day. So, <clears throat> this video is dedicated to Kellen Moore because Kellen Moore, you've had eight to nine weeks to get our offense figured out. The excuses is, is done. In the postseason, there is no such thing as hiding your playbook or playing possum or playing dead or, as Simon said, you know, the rope and dope shit. That doesn't exist in, in January. That shit does not fly in the postseason. You got to pull out all the stops. So, on the, we're most likely going to get the ball first anyways because we usually do. But the very first drive, you got to make a statement. You got to make a statement because, look, if I'm the 49ers defensive coordinator going into this game, my top priority 100% is Amari Cooper. Because if you can take Amari Cooper out of the game, you are crippling this passing offense. Because it's hard enough for us to run the ball as is. So if you can take Amari Cooper completely out of the game, all we have is Cedric Wilson, CeeDee Lamb, and Dalton Schultz. I'm not throwing Blake Jarwin in there. So you got to make a statement early. Get everybody involved. Pull out all the fucking stops. What do you have to lose? Because the way I see it, you know, if I'm Will McClay or if I'm, you know, Stephen Jones even, if you come out in this first quarter with nothing but three and out, three and out, oh, we managed to get past the 50-yard line for once, miss field goal by Greg Zerline, three and out, three and out, three and out, we are going to ship you to Chicago. We will ship you to the Jags. We'll ship you to the Giants, to the Raiders, to the Broncos. I don't give a shit. So, you got to pull out all the stops in January, especially a rivalry like this one. I will be fucking damned if we're going to be told by Jimmy Garoppolo to have a seat on the couch with the likes of the Vegas Raiders or with the likes of um with the likes of the New England Patriots look I get that the Niners offense is nasty now with Debo Samuel and Elijah Mitchell and you know whoever but do you guys assuming our defense can keep doing what they've been doing for the most part of this season do you guys really see the 49ers putting up any more than 20 to 25 points on us? Personally, I don't think so. So this this game, this season, rides 100% on the shoulders of Kellen Moore. It rides 100% on Kellen Moore. So, we... Just no questions asked. We have to get a run game, a, a running game going. We can't resort to pass, pass, pass because, you know, that's pretty much how we how we've been speed running these fucking three and outs. I'm not sure if pass, pass, pass will work on this defense either. So we got to come up with somehow, some fucking way, come up with a running offense. I don't care if the leading rusher is Ezekiel Elliott, Tony Pollard, Corey Clement, Hardy, or C.D. Lamb. Get him in the backfield. Dak Prescott, he could be the leading rusher. But you have to get something going. Something, you know, 
that can give us some momentum, something that can help us continue drives and dominate the time of possession, and then let the defense do their thing. But Kellen Moore, th this game, 100%, your job is on the line. This is make it or break it 100%, in my opinion, for Kellen Moore. So I just want to throw my two cents out there. I'll see you guys hopefully at halftime. I got a feeling that this game today is going to come down to the very last drive. So if that's the case, I'm, I'm going to try to film my reaction to that drive. I'll see you guys later today. I'm going to see the Tampa, Bay's whoop, the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers whoop on the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll see you all later. Peace.